Hello, Roxana. How are you? You're very quiet. Hello, teacher. Oh, I'm okay. Thanks. Good, good. Did you have a nice day today? Yes, it was a normal day. In, in the normal day, what time do you start work? Uh, from A to 12. Eight to twelve. Yeah, only a uh, half half time. Only part time. Part time. Okay. Mm -hmm. See. Yeah. In the market is the time for to sell. Oh, okay. That's Many cool. people buy at that time. In the afternoon, uh, too, but not uh, how in the morning. It's better in the morning. Really? More people in the market. In the morning? Yeah. Ah. And I, I thought maybe not because the people are working. And in, in the afternoon, they go after work. Yeah, but it's... Um, Many housewife. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, buying. Uh, in the morning. Okay. In so it's good. It's good to be in the morning, right? You have to go early. What? You have Can to be early. Yeah. To make sure you get everybody. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's see who else we have here. We have Ivania. Ivania, tell me what's new. Hello, teacher. Yes, Ivania. Go ahead, Ivania. What is the question? I don't know. I just <laughs> in in the class right now. Yes, my question was right now. I said, what's new? Oh, okay. Um, uh, nothing, only I stayed at home and I come back to, to my work. That's only that. Okay. And why did you go back to your work? Why? Yeah. Um, because... Um, I have a, a, a document to present, a report. Okay, and you had to represent it today? Yes, yes. Did you finish it? Yes, I finished. Yeah, the, my boss have the, the report and he said that it's great. Okay. Yeah. And, that's and it. I am hungry. <laughs> ah, you didn't have dinner. No, teacher. After class. Maybe it's after the class. Okay. Sometimes it's difficult, right? Well, I don't know. Do you go, do you normally have dinner before class or after class? Uh normally before. But today, because, because of the report. then I was tired and I just only want to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with you. I, I for me, I, I think it's better to have dinner before class. Yes, mm -hmm. and I think it's too late too. Yeah, really, because it is. you only eat and you go to the bed. Uh huh. It's it's okay if you're going to stay awake for to. 11 30 or something like this but yes mm, if you go to bed at 9 30 or, or right after class it's better to to have dinner before class yes for the digestion 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 mm -hmm. yeah. okay so marvin everything okay
think Marvin is connected in this moment, huh? Okay, Mirna, are we ready? Yes, teacher, I'm mm -hmm. ready yet. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and take a moment. What did we learn yesterday about our speaking activity? When we have our speaking exam, what is important that we have to remember? Uh, we need to take note, note when mm -hmm. you read or and you listen, and you need uh, you have to to have a, a 30, 30 second for prepare your answer and fifty second to to record your answer. Correct. That's the most important. Now, remember, there are different types of questions. The ones that we saw yesterday were for 30 seconds. This is the time that you have to prepare. Now, when you prepare, it's really focused like an exercise. No, mm, mm, no, you need to start thinking about what are your answers? What are the details? What are the main information? If you want, one of the ways that you can do it is on that piece of paper, write down main ideas. That way, when you're speaking, you remember to include all of those main ideas and that information that is necessary. Okay, so what are some of those things? Let's take a look. Here, I'm going to share my screen with you. So as an example, right here, I says, uh, the woman explains her interest in listening to the, guitar, to the guest lecture. State her interest and explain the problems surrounding the syndrome. Now, this is important, why? Because it means that here, when you were listening, you had to write down the problems. You had to take down notes because if not, it's going to be difficult for you. And you need to use those notes to make the connection with this. Now, this is part of the integrated part because here we also have the reading. You're gonna have a reading and the listening. Today, we're gonna to practice the only one, not having the reading and listening. Right now, we're only gonna have the listening, but you only have 20 seconds to prepare and answer, okay? So only 20 seconds to prepare and answer. Are you guys ready? Practice taking notes. Remember, write down the information because then you need to take down information so that when they ask you, you have a vocabulary or information that you can use. Okay. Any questions before we begin? And we need to to record in, in the WhatsApp group and send yes. you. Correct, correct. Send you. Okay. Correct in the WhatsApp group and then you send it. Okay. Only about the listening teacher. This one is correct. It's only okay. listen and then you're going to have a question that you need to answer. Okay. All right, only listen. Have you signed up for the GRE test yet? Yeah, have to if I want to get into graduate school. You sound upset. I am. I don't understand why we've got to take that test. I mean, the university can tell whether we're up to graduate work by looking at our grade point average and letters of recommendations. You're just suffering from test anxiety. Yeah, I am. Don't you know those tests are gender biased? Did you know that the average mean scores for women are about 60 points lower than men's on standardized tests, whereas women's grade point averages are higher? Really? No, I didn't know that. So, uh, what's the deal? Well, test anxiety may count. Women tend to suffer anxiety levels that negatively affect their scores. You know, there was a study not long ago in which a control group and an experimental group both with an equal number of men and women, were given a standardized test. The people in the control group were just given the test, and those in the experimental group were told that the researchers were looking at gender differences. The women in the experimental group scored even lower than the women in the control group. And they think the women in the experimental group were more anxious? Well, that's probably a part of it. 
but other studies show that men and women approach the tasks differently. So what do we, us guys, do differently? Uh, for one thing, you guys take risks. We're more cautious and try to analyze the items and check our answers. So we work slower, and that's a disadvantage on a timed test. I can see that. What else? Men seem to enjoy trick questions, whereas women find them distracting. Well, I guess I can understand your feelings, but don't you think a university takes these differences into account? I'd hope so. You know, it isn't just women, but ethnic groups and even non-native English speakers have been shown to do better on open-ended tasks like essay tests. Well, now you have 20 seconds to prepare your answers and then 60 seconds that you're going to speak. The students discuss the problem with standardized testing, describe the woman's concern, then state what you think the woman's concerns and explain why. 20 seconds, go. Begin recording. Okay, stop recording and send it to the group. Okay, excellent. We got Roxana, we got Luis. Mirna, Marvin. Mirna Marvin. I teacher, I almost don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand what, Mirna? The topic. Okay. Yeah. Did you Maybe record? Maybe I need to, to listen again. <laughs> yes, Mirna, but you're not going to have that in the exam. You don't have the opportunity to listen again. Okay, teacher. It's okay. To, you can listen again uh, and practice in the house. But remember, in the exam, you only have one opportunity to listen and you have to listen and take notes. That's why it's important to develop the skill of taking notes. That way you can write down vocabulary or information that you had, okay? The next time we try a little bit more, don't worry. Okay, guys, so there we have our first one. We have some of those answers, great, okay? Now, as you can see, is this is the most difficult part. The idea is you have to state what you think. This is, means you have to explain what you think are the reasons, in this case, what are the reasons the woman is worried, why the woman is concerned, and explain why. What are the ideas for the standardized test? Okay. And here's the final one. The final is we have question number four, the same. Listen. Then we have 20 seconds to prepare and answer the questions. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hey, Becky, you look kind of uh, down. Yeah, 
I just discovered that I can't sign up for research methodology because I didn't take the prerequisite, research writing skills. Can you believe that research methodology is only offered in the fall term? So if I can't take it next fall, it'll be another year before I can take it. I see you have a summer catalog. Is it being offered this summer? Yeah, but I really need to go home and work this summer. Summer courses aren't so bad. I kind of prefer them. They're so intensive that they're over before you know it. Have you ever done a summer term? No, but I'll have to this summer if I'm going to graduate in time. Did you know that course is offered as an internet course? You could go home, hold down a job, and study online after you get off work. Really? No, I didn't know that. You've signed up for online courses, right? Yeah, once. In fact, it was the research writing skills course. How was it? I failed. What? But how is that possible? You're the one that always gets the best grades in class. It must have been really difficult. No, it wasn't. I discovered that when I don't attend a class regularly, I put off doing the assignments. I kept putting them off until it was too late to finish. I never thought of you as a procrastinator. You know, I think it had a lot to do with not knowing the professor. I couldn't possibly walk into a classroom unprepared and face a professor. But I never met the online professor and didn't feel the embarrassment of not having my assignments ready. But I think you could manage it because you're motivated. I mean, so you can take that other course next fall. Okay, before we answer, I want, we want to practice to make sure that your notes are correct. Look at the notes. Tell me, what notes did you write down? What did you write down? What information did you get? Sorry, teacher, but I, I don't understand exactly the what uh, about what they they talk about. I don't okay. understand exactly. You so you didn't write down. I try anything. to understand, but I, I don't I I don't take note because I try to understand. I listen carefully. I pay attention to to them, but I don't understand exactly about what they talk. Okay, it's important. I don't know. It's Sorry. okay. No, no, it's no problem. No problem. But it's good to take notes because if you don't take notes, then, for example, in this moment, you have no information because in the exam, the listening is finished. The only information you have is with your notes. So if you didn't write down vocabulary, topics, uh, why they are speaking, what is the, the reason, or what is good or bad, it's going to be very difficult. But try to write down some notes because these are the notes that you can use. Okay. What about the others? Nuri, Mirna, Marvin, Luis, Ivania? I take some notes, but uh, a little they speak about research methodology in mm -hmm. the summer, graduating time, courses, and procrastination and environment, but only our uh, ideas. <laughs> That's it, that's, that's the idea. You need ideas. You don't have time to make sentences. It's not <laughs> yeah. possible. Only it's possible, make information. Ah, the topic is this, that mentioned this. That way when you are speaking, you remember again and it's easier for you, okay? okay? That's the idea. The idea is not to make sentences. The idea, notes are only little bits of information, only a little bit of information. Nuni, what about you? What did you write? Okay, not much, teacher. I I I will like listening again. Okay, all right. Okay. No problem, Luis. What about you? I I I hear about bake the name the, the lady I explain. I I I am not sure, but explain the the presential course. A presential course. Uh, there are conflict with the. Uh, uh, because maybe she doesn't have time to study because the New York City is hard, I don't know. But the, the boy uh, give a recommendation to study online. Okay. Yeah, to study online because with online is is easier than than the um that the course normal course right that give the university. 
but this is a, a excellent recommendation. I, I, I hear about it that way, a, a copy. Okay, okay, good. Now, we are going to listen again, no problem. But remember, in the real exam, you cannot listen again. In the real exam, only one opportunity. You didn't understand, zero points. This is the most difficult. There is not going to have an opportunity to, ah, I didn't catch the idea. I Okay. Here, try one more time. Practice writing down notes. Remember, the idea of notes is not sentences. It's information, important information that you understand. One more time. Here we have it. Hey, Becky, you look kind of uh, down. Yeah, I just discovered that I can't sign up for research methodology because I didn't take the prerequisite, research writing skills. Can you believe that research methodology is only offered in the fall term? So if I can't take it next fall, it'll be another year before I can take it. I see you have a summer catalog. Is it being offered this summer? Yeah, but I really need to go home and work this summer. Summer courses aren't so bad. I kind of prefer them. They're so intensive that they're over before you know it. Have you ever done a summer term? No, but I'll have to this summer if I'm going to graduate in time. Did you know that course is offered as an internet course? You could go home, hold down a job, and study online after you get off work. Really? No, I didn't know that. You've signed up for online courses, right? Yeah, once. In fact, it was the research writing skills course. How was it? I failed. What? But how is that possible? You're the one that always gets the best grades in class. It must have been really difficult. No, it wasn't. I discovered that when I don't attend a class regularly, I put off doing the assignments. I kept putting them off until it was too late to finish. I never thought of you as a procrastinator. You know, I think it had a lot to do with not knowing the professor. I couldn't possibly walk into a classroom unprepared and face a professor. But I never met the online professor and didn't feel the embarrassment of not having my assignments ready. But I think you could manage it because you're motivated. I mean, so you can take that other course next fall. Okay. Now you have 20 seconds to prepare, and then we need to answer the question. Okay. The students discuss two possible solutions to the woman's problems. Describe the problem, then state which of the two solutions you prefer and why. Okay, 20 seconds, prepare, and then speak for 60 seconds. Begin recording. Okay, send the recording. Alex, Mar oh, okay, much better, much better. We got Nuri, Luis, Roxana, Mirna, Marvin, Alex, Ivy, Luis, okay. 
Okay, good, good job, much better. Okay, guys, so what, what did we learn? Well, we learned a couple of things. We learned that for each person is difficult, the diff different technique. For some people, it's better to take notes. For some people, no, no, no. If I take notes, I am distracted. You have to memorize everything, okay? Remember, each person is different. You have to find the technique that for you is the best. For you, taking notes, okay. For you, making pictures, okay. For you, uh, remembering and then recording, okay. But you need to find the way that you can have the most information. That way you can answer correctly. Teacher, in my case, it's better for me no take notes. It's better to try to understand about, about uh, the topic that he or she explained. And I try to understand. And if I understand, I, 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 uh, it's, it is, it, it's better for me to record or to say something about it. But the problem is when I don't understand about the topic or what they explain. And it, it, but if I understand, is it's I try to to catch the idea and to maintain in my 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 mind and 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 record. It's better for me when I take a note. It's not good for me. I think. Okay. And what are you going to do, Roxana, when you don't understand? What is the what is the plan B? What happened when you listen and you don't understand? <laughs> How are you going yeah, to it, it, it's, it's the problem because I, I got a zero. Okay. In the first in the first time when uh, I try to understand and I don't know what why I didn't catch the idea. In the second time I catch the idea and I record. But it's but when I don't understand, I I lost my, my grade. Okay. Okay, this is going to be a problem, but yeah. one of the ways to help you is remember that many times the people are distracted. They lose focus. You lose the focus. You are, I, you, you, I don't know. You have an idea. I have to go to the supermarket. It, it's not important, but the idea distracts you, make you lose focus. And that one moment, I, you lost the, what is happening. So you have to be careful and remember why you are listening. I am listening for what? I am listening for the, if you don't have the questions, you have to answer yourself. What is the problem? Why are they having the conversation? What is the solution? What is the right? That way, when you listen, your brain, ah, I am listening for the problem. I am listening for the solution. I am listening for the explanation. This is the other technique that if you are going to listen, ask yourself the question, that way your brain focus in answering the question when it listens. Teacher, in this kind of question, integrating question, in this the second part, mm -hmm. uh, not the, the last the last one because you have a reading section and 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 that part helped you about the topic because you read, but it, in this part is not in. It, I have a question for you. You mm -hmm. uh, you have the question. Uh, before the listener, the listening, or, or, or is the question don't help you about the, the topic, right? Because the question is, is general. Yes, you don't. It's very good. You do not have the question before the listening. First you listen, and then you're going to get the question. This is why it's more difficult. Because if you have the question, it's easier because you already know what to listen for. But in this case, you don't have it. You have to listen. That's why I say the technique is ask yourself. Ask yourself the question, what is the topic? What is the problem? What is the solution? What are the recommendations? These normally help you with getting the information that you need in most situations, okay? In most situations, if you find the answer to what is the problem, what is the solution, what are the recommendations, 
it's going to be easy for you to be able to answer the questions. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go to that second part. These were, the next part is more listening, sorry, more speaking, but these are for questions today. Now, questions four and six. We completed questions three and five. What were three and five? They were the three and five integrated, reading and listening, or listening and reading and answering the questions. Now we're going to see numbers four and six. Let's go over speaking questions four and six, the integrated speaking questions about academic courses. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, scoring criteria, skill building tips. Now we're going to look at how questions are structured. Question four, read a passage, listen to lecture, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they're structured. In question four, you will read a passage about academic subject. Then you will listen to part of a lecture on the same subject. You'll have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question six, listen to lecture, 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question six, you will listen to part of a lecture. Then you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question four. For question four, the Okay, so it's similar to questions numbers three and five, right? Three is the reading and the listening and then the question. Question number four is the same way. Question number five is listening, reading the question, okay? The same number six. Number six is listening and then reading the question. Only numbers three and four, you have a paragraph and a listening, and then you read the question. This is going to be the difference. Now, remember, the more you have, the more time you have. So if you have the reading, you have 30 seconds. If you don't have the reading and only the listening, you only have 20 seconds to prepare. The reading passage will always be about an important academic term or concept that may be found in a first year college textbook. Then when you answer the question, you will speak about how the example supports or illustrates the term or concept. For question six, the listening passage is an excerpt from an academic lecture on a single topic. Usually it starts with the professor either defining a concept or highlighting an issue. Approach tips. Take notes while listening. Write down keywords or ideas. Review notes as you prepare your response. Don't repeat yourself to fill time. Say something to clarify, develop or elaborate. Practice timing yourself. Practice with academic text. You don't need prior knowledge of a specific fields. The questions test your English. Now here are some tips about how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, the topics for these questions can be from a variety of fields, life science, social science, physical science, history, art, literature. And although it's important that you practice with academic texts, the questions are designed so that you don't need any prior knowledge in a specific field to answer the question. In other words, even though a question is about an academic topic, Ultimately, it is not testing your knowledge of that topic, it's testing your English. Scoring criteria, zero to four. A score holistically. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from zero to four. They are scored holistically, which means the raters listen to various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Scoring criteria, delivery, language use, topic development. Delivery, clear and fluid speech, good pronunciation, natural pace, good intonation. Language use, use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development, how fully you answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas. Skill building tips, 
Here are some activities that can help you build your skills for the integrative speaking tasks, especially number four and six about academic courses. Develop your academic vocabulary. Keep a list of new words and practice pronouncing them. Read an article and record a summary. Transcribe the recording and think of other ways to say the same thing. Find textbooks in English that include study questions. Practice answering the questions out loud. Collect recording of yourself in an audio journal. Ask your English teacher to evaluate the recordings. So, as you can see, there are many, many tips to help you with the integrated part of the questions. The most important is that you are clear. As we were just talking and Roxana mentioned, if you don't understand the listening, it's really difficult to answer the question because they are asking you, but I didn't understand. And then how can you give your opinion if it's not clear? In this situation, if it's not clear, look at the vocabulary in the questions to give yourself the answer and then develop as much as you can. Do not leave blank. Do not leave blank because Remember, it's not a perfect answer, it's points. The idea is not if you are intelligent or if you have the, the knowledge for this topic. No, You're the, the grade is for your English, vocabulary, fluency, comprehension. And this is the important. If you say, I don't know, and you are quiet, you lose points. If you say something, you can get one point, 1.5 to you can get some points and some points is better because remember it's four points each question six questions is 24 points maximum so one point is a big problem it's a big uh, it's very important it's a big deal okay and yes it's not only one two three four no they give you half points for example 2.5 3.5 1.5, they can give you half points. So every point is important. Any questions? No. No? No, teacher. Okay, remember, the most important is answer. Answer something, don't leave blank, and always try a little bit of information. In this moment, we're going to try with our partners because we are practicing, and I want you to get comfortable with your partner in practicing. So like we do in the class, we're going to have the opportunities with our partners to try it. We are going to read the article. We are going to listen to the conversation and then we are going to record our audios. As an example here, you're going to read the article. You're going to listen to the lecture, okay? And then you'll have 60 seconds to answer the questions. Okay, the same thing. Now, you want here, we want to make sure that it's clear. So we're going to go slower. As an example, with my partner, we're going to read together. When we finish reading, I'm going to tell my partner, Roxana, what do you understand? I don't know. What do you understand? Edwin? And then I'm going to discuss to help my partner and my partner to help me to try to use more vocabulary. For example, I want to try to use the vocabulary from here. That way it's better and I get more points. After we discuss, so remember, read, conversation, then listen, conversation, and then answer the question with audio in the WhatsApp. One more time. Reading, discussion, listening, discussion, and then the three, recording and into the WhatsApp group. Okay, let's check. Nuri, what is number one? Excuse me. Reading, discussion. Excellent. Listening. Discussion and mm -hmm. record. Exactly. So we are going to go slower. We are going to go slower. No problem. We don't need to have perfect score. We need to prepare for the exam. 
we don't need to have a perfect score today. No, we need to be prepared for the exam. So listen to Nuri. If you have questions, remember, is one discussion, one discussion. So reading discussion, listening discussion. And then number three, record and put in the WhatsApp group. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, okay, good. No questions? Excellent. Let's make some groups. Let's try.
Okay. I see only two audios, only Mirna and Alex. It's difficult, teacher, because only I, I did 20 seconds and that activity needs 60. And I, I say, what more I can speak, but don't fluid the ideas. <laughs> that works. It's very normal, really, because it's, when we have pressure, is what what more, what more, what more? When it's conversation, ah, no problem. It's no problem. Uh, I receive migrants. Okay, in this moment, I receive migrants in the group also. So we have Mirna's Alex Marvin. Yeah, when but but you know, you know, teacher, Mirna really, I feel she she was uh relaxed because we talk and talk. But I never, I, I, I feel a hey, Mirna is under pressure. Mm -mm. Maybe it's normal for Mirna read and listen in a, a little t in a little time. That uh, to do understand. Yes. To her understand. <laughs> yes, and, and and maybe yes, maybe it's normal the pressure because the the pressure is the difficult. For example, I say, okay, uh, Alex, explain to me. Uh, global warming for 60 seconds 20 seconds to prepare <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh -huh. yeah yeah uh -huh. difficult right yeah. yeah yeah and it's the practice of the the different topics different topic different topic because in the, <laughs> um, the really really you don't know and it's most most likely going to be academic a uh, science history uh you know a uh, Social, social economic uh, benefits, negatives, the crime, things like this. Okay, so yes, and teacher is difficult to uh, is uh, the vocabulary uh, because I I cannot uh, I I don't know how how to pronounce phyto phytoplanktons or <laughs> nitrogen or di dioxide. It's a lot of vocabulary, and it's it the, in the exam evaluate about the pronunciation of that word. Mm -hmm. I lost my grade. <laughs> Sorry, no, but, but it's okay because the pronunciation is bad. It's okay because you get points for the communication. You get points for logic. You get point. You get other. So no, so, it's, okay. it's not possible to get one hundred. But the idea is. Okay, my pronunciation is not American, it's not native, no problem. But I give good explanation. I give good examples. I give good reasons. And then I have more points. Okay. Okay. It's, it's important to record and, and speak a lot. Yes. This <laughs> the is the most important. That you understand. The important is to start record with time, record with time, record with time. That way you feel comfortable because it's not the same record you say 60 seconds, ah, it's nothing. But when you begin recording 60 seconds, ah, you feel, oh my, it todavía me falta. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Tomorrow okay. we practice. We practice again. We try to get better. And I see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Take care. Take care.